Hey guys, welcome back to Subnautica. Um, so the challenge we gave ourselves last time was to boost down here and what is it, silver? And to kind of scan See if there's anything cool beans down here. Um, thankfully to your comments, I know the Cyclops part isn't down here. So I don't know whether to be happy or depressed about that, you know? Like, of course, of course I'm happy that I know generally where to find it now. I'm a little sad that I come to this area for no reason. Which kind of brings the point, like, why am I going here? Of course, of course. Um, it's because I came all this way, and I, if I came this way, I didn't. I'm determined not to come all this way for no reason. You know? Like, if I came this way, oh. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Hi. That's okay. No thank you. Oh my Judas Priest. What in the world was- Oh, it's that stupid fish. Oh. Okay. Where do I get into this, Bessie? You can't tell me I came here for no reason. Yeah, there it is. Um. Come on. I want to get out of the open air. I don't like. I, not necessarily open air, I guess. Oh my goodness, I'm already. Kind of low on air, aren't I? Not a great thing. Because this is why you say Poke Geek, I believe is. I've I've tried to do better at remembering. Maybe this is why you say you uh, bring bladderfish with you. It's a valid. Oh, fetch, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get up to the surface. We need a air. Ah, oh, shucks. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I suppose I could have brought the Seamoth. Oh! Oh! Nope. I did not bring the Seamoth closer. Oh! Okay. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. Where's my. How's my. We'll go empty out my inventory a little bit. As much as we can. Recommended. Twenty. Yeah. Vital signs stabilizing. These food chunks are very nice. Oh, it's already full. So look at that. Okay, cool beans. We're not thinking of put, putting anything in there. Good, good, good to know. Hey. I don't know whether kind of a it's like a glider squirrel kind of flying glider squirrel flying squirrel. Oh but those can actually fly up though. The flying squirrels, if I'm correct, don't really fly necessarily. Ooh. 
Anyway. I'm pretty sure flying squirrels don't actually fly. They just kind of glide down from the tree. But it appears those things that I saw there, whatever they're called, actually fly. Which is interesting. Now oh, there's some good shelter here. Uh, we don't need diamond. Pretty sure my diamond is full. My gold is relatively full. I think. But <sighs> all right, now we're back. Okay, yeah. Um. Oh. Please observe safety protocol CSP-21 before handling classified cargo. Ooh. Interesting. The lore deepens. Okay, we can't go that way. Ooh, more nutrition blocks. What in the world was that? Prawn suit fragment. Don't really need. Ugh. Keep pressing the wrong button. Inventory full. Okay, can't go that way. And we can't go that way. So I think that's pretty much all that we can do here. Not a lot. Oh, fetch. We gotta go. Alright, we're calm. Yeah. Okay. Air is depleting. So we need to get out of here. Quickly and fastly without killing ourselves. 30 seconds. I think if I go straight up, I should be pretty safe, actually. There's nothing too crazy close to us. Oxygen. Come on, I'm trying. I'm going. Come on. Please. Please. I'm almost there. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it. I'm close enough. sounds, but we're out of here. Done with y'all. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Alright, so I'm going to see these things. Whatever they're at. I'm like, oh, yeah, they flap. Never mind. They do flap. Because flying squirrels, I think they just, like, they can't, they don't flap at all, right? Which brings a question. What if they did? You know? Like, suppose a flying squirrel decided to start flapping its arms. Would, would it... Or would it not be able to fly? I feel like this is an interesting question. I I think it would be cool if it did, but I, I feel like 
it wouldn't. Just because there's, there's more that goes into it, you know? I wait. And... Aerodynamics? Is that... I don't Like... You know, I just... Personally don't believe... That it actually... That it, that it actually could. What biome am I in? This can't be good. Ah, mushroom biome. Actually, this is great. This is exactly where I need to be. So, y'all's com comments said this is where I could come to find Cyclops parts. So, I'm gonna trust y'all. That was a bridge fragment. Not what I need, but it's proving all to be correct thus far. Have I explored that? I don't need to explore it. My inventory is full, and the only thing I would gain from it is batteries, food, and water. I don't really need anything else. Still chase me? Ah, oh, he gave up. Okay. Uh, since when do I have two laser cutters? Did I actually bring two? My bad. This, this is much more Russian forest. Ooh. I hear a big roar. I hear a big fishy. So that's bridge. I don't need bridge fragment. What is that? Is that anything? Cyclops. Oh. Okay. We're cooking. Alright. Heck yeah. The question is where? Where's the big fishy? He's around here somewhere. He's making his sounds. I feel like they're close. But also the mushroom forest is... Oh. Oh? I thought the mushroom forest was a generally safe biome. But he's like really close. Wait, where the fetch did he go? That's not great. I don't love that I just lost him. Okay, see any whole fragments here? Where? Oh! The Judas. Okay. Alright, cool beans. Let's go this way. Maybe there's something cool over here. How do we even end up over there? Mushroom Forest is over here. I feel like I'm in a different Mushroom Forest than I usually go in. This one looks different. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, buddy. Acquired. That was not that hard. Okay. Alien data? No. The guys. What are you so happy about, Mada? Say, kid, 
I brought you something. Is that a Leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay and chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Hmm. I mean... Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't know if I'd bring it. Leviathan back to base. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, Chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bard, Torical has disembarked the habitat. Bard, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I knew you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Huh. That's good. Welcome aboard, Captain. Somehow missed all these audio things. Forgot to listen to them. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So... It's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> hmm. Vital signs stabilizing. He's really consumed with money, but it's kind of interesting. Okay. This time. Let me check the build cost. Where? There it is. Let's see how much this is gonna hurt us. These Cyclops. Three plasteel ingots. We've kind of we've been using a ton of our titanium. That's the issue here. So 
what I think we're, we're gonna do is get everything else ready. So I thought I brought back more stalker teeth. I would have put them here. Try not. Quartz we're not doing great on either. Glass. Glass. And. That's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't start this game. So, let me go get. We need metal salvage. A lubricant. It's lubricant we can get from our, our garden. So we'll just get that real quick. And then. Where's our build? Uh, I think we're gonna need another planter. Ah, no, damn. <laughs> I think it was Poke Geek that said that too, that like it's a good idea to meet leaves, metal salvage in the in the forest, whatever it's called. Oh, I don't have enough quartz. I don't have a lot. I'm running out of everything. Okay, we can make lubricant at least. And wine kid is too silver. Oh, it's an advanced wiring. Two gold and computer chip. What well, computer chip is copper, isn't it? Copper wire. Okay. Copper wire. Gold and two cable coral. Some table core. It's kind of rough. We're just running out of everything. Said. We prefer to keep it there. Actually, these ones I can take. These ones are good. I just feel like I think we're gonna need a lot. It's a problem. Cause there's we need three lithium ingots. It takes two, well, not. It takes one titanium ingot per lithium ingot. Maybe before we turn these into uh, inventory full. Okay. Maybe before we turn these into titanium, we'll check how we're doing on. Stalker teeth, if we need to go drop some into a creep vine forest or whatever it's called. Oh my goodness. It's already. I was going by it too fast. I don't like it. Don't appreciate it. Copper! That's good. We could always need some more copper. So we're continuing to run 
time for that stuff. Yeah, we'll scan for stock of teeth first. Or not. That's that's not too, that's cool. I didn't really want any anyways. either. Oh my goodness. I'm going to die. Can we put these in storage until we're ready, ready for them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, nice. Okay. So we do have enough titanium ingots. I, I didn't think we had enough titanium. And I'm pretty sure it takes lithium, which we just happen to get a lot of. Yeah. Are you... Oh, it takes two for one. Are you kidding me? I should think I remember that by now. Why did it just burn through lithium like that? That's kind of unfair. I don't appreciate that. All right. Well, we're a little bit closer. Got a few last things to do, which I think won't take us too long. But you know, so it's, it's survivable. But uh, it's gonna all have to be some next episode stuff. So on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.